I'm Kyle Wolver, the Director of Logistics with Superior Ambulance Service. Today, we want to demonstrate our decontamination processes in both our ambulance operations and our wheelchair van paratransit operations in light of the recent COVID-19 situation. First and foremost, the safety of our crews, our patients, our customers, and our communities is of the utmost priority here at Superior Ambulance. When dealing with the COVID-19 situation, we ask that you wear the correct PPE given for the situation and that you don and doff it correctly. If you have questions, please refer them to a member of management or look for the documentation that was put out previously. When dealing with a COVID-19 patient, it's imperative that post-transport, we allow for a 30-minute air exchange process to happen. We want to open the doors to either vehicle for 30 minutes and allow for that air exchange to happen. Make sure that you're wearing correct PPE while doing this process, and if you have questions, please refer to the guidance that was pushed out earlier. Let's demonstrate our manual sprayer. To begin with, we always want to make sure we have on a fresh set of gloves. Inside of the container, you're going to have your container, your sprayer, instructions, and 10 tablets. We'll fill the container full of water. We'll add one tablet to the solution. I'm not going to do it for demonstration purposes today and to save the product. Allow that to dissolve for five minutes and the solution is ready. We add our top. The nozzle comes closed. We wanna make sure we open it to get a nice misting solution. Once the solution is made, we wanna add a piece of tape here, put the date as the solution is only good for five days. The next crew knows if the solution is past that five days, they need to change out the solution. Let's go over our Victory Electronic Decontamination Sprayer. To start, make sure that you're always wearing a, a fresh pair of gloves. We start out with the sprayer by first unlocking the canister, pulling the pin to release the canister. We fill this canister with water. We add one brew tab tablet to the canister and let it dissolve for five minutes to make the solution. We then click the canister back in, relock it, pull the trigger, you should get a nice mist. Sprayer is ready to go. When dealing with our wheelchair van or paratransit division, we can utilize both products as before. Same process, we'll take the electronic sprayer, spray the entire front of the cab. It's important to note that for demonstration purposes, I'm not spraying. Manual sprayer, same way. We can spray the entire front of the cab, making sure that we get the, the surface wet for two minutes allow it to air dry for a full decontamination process. In the back of a wheelchair van or paratransit, same process, either one. We're going to decontaminate the entire back of the vehicle, making sure we get it entirely wet for a full two minutes, allow it to air dry. Same process with the manual hand sprayer. Make sure we spray it completely down. Two minutes, wet surface, air dry, decontamination process is finished. That completes our decontamination process of the ambulance. As always, if you have questions, please refer to your station manager or you can ask the logistics department as we are always here to help. Thank you for everything you guys are doing through this COVID-19 situation.